Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films, and today I'm gonna go over the new Smart Mask Effect inside the new Vegas Pro 21. So let's go ahead and load up Vegas Pro 21, and I'm gonna drag and drop a clip onto my timeline that I downloaded from Vegas Content to show you as an example for this. Go to your Video Effects tab and find Smart Mask and drag and drop it onto your clip. Once you do that, you can hit Analyze, and AI will detect what it thinks things are on your clip. Once it's done analyzing, you will see a couple of new options, which are show labels and confidence. When you check show labels, it will go ahead and label what it detects in your video and show the confidence percentage of that as well. Now you have the confidence percentage slider that you can drag back and forth that will show you more options that this plugin detected. Now with this detected a bird for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and select it and that brings up more options in this plugin. We got mask tracking, direction, redetection rate, Correct mask, start track, and then mask transfer, create mask. So we drop down the direction tab, we see that we can choose either forward or backward tracking. And then we have redetection rate. From what I found out is the lower this number is, the more accurate the track will be to an extent. And the higher it is, the less accurate it will be as well. It's kind of a weird thing that you got to kind of play with. Because if you have it set all the way to 1, you won't be able to correct any individual masks, which I'll show you in a second. And if you have it set all the way to 29, it's really not going to make that good of a track around the subject you're wanting to track, and you'll have to correct a, a bunch of times, and it's just a big waste of time, it seems. So bringing it down to like, you know, 7 is pretty good, and then go ahead and hit Start Tracking. From what I can tell, this uses your computer power, your CPU power to track, and not your GPU. But that's just kind of what I've found out at this point. Now, it could be different depending on what type of GPU you have, but this one seemed to use pretty much all computer power. You can stop the track at any time and then hit continue tracking in whatever specified direction as well. And if we scrub through the footage, we'll see an outline of its track. And it's trying to track the bird. It looks like it caught some of the branch in there, which is, you know, okay. If you find a frame that's pretty way off on the track, you can select correct mask and that will reanalyze that frame and do a pretty good job of lining that mask up of where it should be. Now from my tests, depending on how many times you correct the mask, that will affect the mask that is created when you hit create mask. Now when you select create mask, it's gonna automatically apply that data to a Bezier masking plugin and apply it to your clip. Now I hit correct mask a couple of times and we could see there's like a little bird silhouette floating away right there. And I found out that that's because it applies the correct mask onto the additional mask two, three, four, or five every time you select it. So selecting Create Mask may not do exactly what you're wanting to do, but again, this plugin is in its infancy stage. It's a brand new plugin that's only going to get better as they keep on working on it. So I'm going to go ahead and disable the other two masks that it created by selecting Correct Mask twice, and then leave Mask 1 there, which is my primary mask. And from here, I can adjust feathering, opacity, and even little bits of the location. I mean, anything in that area. And from my tests, it seems like you get better results if you're trying to get just like a still image out of this and not try to do a track for a moving subject. It's going to be kind of wonky from my tests. I really haven't been able to nail it down correctly. So if you do this on like a picture or a still image of a video, you can still create some pretty cool little effects, which I'll show you like I did right here. But that about wraps it up for this Smart Mask plugin. It's only going to get better over time but I am glad Vegas is making good progress towards new cool things. And that wraps it up for this video. If it helped you out, be sure to shoot a like and subscribe down there because that'll really help me out. I'll see you guys in the next one.